Ken Ames. I lead a senior fitness class at the city of Pasco. We use the city gym. But during the coronavirus epidemic, we've been staying home, and I've been staying home. And instead of getting my exercise three times a week, I've been getting meals three times a day. Um, so I think it's time to get back to a little bit of fitness. And what I'm going to try to do today is walk you through uh, just a simple aerobics routine. If people really like this, we may make some more exercise videos, but uh, for today we're gonna shoot for aerobics. So when we do aerobics, what we do is we start out by walking around the gym. And the idea is to walk fast enough so that you get your heart and your lungs moving, but you don't wanna walk so fast that you can't talk to the person you're walking with. Actually, if you can say a few words, that's perfect. If you can do a complete sentence, then you probably aren't walking fast enough. So, okay, we got ourselves limbered up, we're ready to go, and then we start with just a few uh, aerobics moves. And usually I start with like a, a heels in front, like so. And now all these moves, you can do them big or small. You can do them fast or slow. I don't do them to account for a good reason. The reason is because some people in our class are in their late 80s or early 90s, and they don't go quite as fast as the rest of us. We also have a couple people in our class that are in their 50s, if you can believe it. And, you know, uh, they can do what they do. That's just fine. So you can do it. If you want to do it like this, that's fine. If you want to go real big, that's, if that suits you, that's fine. Okay, and then after that, we usually go into a windmill. And the windmill, of course, is adjustable too. If you, all you can do is this, you do this. If you do it big, you do it big. So we do a few windmills. That's a good one for getting the heart and lungs moving. And then we'll go into one of my favorites that uh, always makes me say ow the first time. That's elbows to knees. Ooh, that'll tell you how flexible you are. But it's good. If your elbow goes, actually goes all the way to your knee, you should come see me and get a gold star after class because I can't do that. Okay, after a few elbows to knees, then we'll go into helicopters. This improves the flexibility of your back and your spine. Okay, and of course this one you can do big or small, fast or slow. And another basic move is what we call skater. Now this is actually derived from this classic aerobics move of step touch. So if you want to do a step touch, that's fine. I think most of the people in our class can do a skater. So you get that toe out there behind, past the heel. You can do it fast or slow. We have some people in our class who like to go really big, like this. And that's okay too. You just do it your own speed. And if you get to where you can't talk, you're probably working too hard. And I guess I was moving forward again. Okay, now this is a move that took me about two years to learn, but it's really simple. It shouldn't have taken that long, but it did. And it's called out, out, in, in. So you step out with one foot and the other foot. You can add the arms in like I'm doing, or you can just do it like this. It's just basically a triangle step. And if you find you're getting really good at it, and you're grooving it, and you're digging it, then you can switch feet. Make a little bit of a mental exercise out of it. That's good too. Okay, down claps and up claps. That's a good one. Well, my clap's working well today. Feel good about that. And that's closely related to a half jack. That's another move. Okay, I think we've been doing it about five minutes now, and after five minutes, we usually stop for a water break. Make sure you have water handy when you do your workout. Mm. A few good sips of water really helps. Oh, well, let's do some uh, front kick. You just do it. And the idea here is to not to do it so big that you 
Whoa! You just want to get what you can do standing straight up. And of course you can do it at your own speed. And this is related to the back kick. And sometimes we do the combo, front kick, back kick. And of course, after you do a few, then you need to change feet. Like so. Okay, now let's do some lunges. Just go like so. You can use the arms or not. The idea, you're working the knee that's bending. And so, our knees are old enough that they don't want to bend all the way with the load on them anymore. It's just not the right thing to do. But this gives you a little bit of a knee bend. And if you're younger and stronger, you can get this knee closer to the floor. It's just a matter of what works for you. Okay, let's do some front windmills. This is where the heel goes in front of the leg. Well, now we might do some punching and just this is a jab basically put yourself into it snap it out there but don't ever do it with somebody's face in the way you will hurt your hand you could hurt their face too and we don't just do jabs sometimes you do uppercuts again no face in the way if you want to punch a pillow at home because it makes you feel better. That I would recommend. And sometimes we do arm circles. That's a good exercise for your shoulders. Or we do swimming. Now we do some chair exercises also, and the idea of the chair exercises is not because you're older or weak. You can actually do some really good exercises in a chair. Let me show you a really good one. Now make sure you have a chair with four feet. If the chair rocks or rolls, no, don't do that. <laughs> you can hurt yourself or somebody else. So you just sit in the chair, sit on the front half of the chair and do happy feet. And this is more work than it looks like, but it's really good for you. It works these abs, it works your calf muscles. It's a good workout. And when you get good at it, then you can do out and in. And when you've had enough of that, you can do heels out in the front. Getting right on the edge of the chair and bumping those heels, that's work too. Then if somebody's getting after you for making too much noise, make more noise. We do hap, slappy feet with high knees. Makes a lot of noise. It's fun too. And it's good for you. Now one of the exercises we do in the class is we take a ball and we hold it between our ankles and we kind of balance it out there. This is, this is good work for the abs. I don't have a ball. You might not have a ball, but believe me, a few seconds of this and you're ready to do something different. Okay, let's review. What are we going to do next? Um, thinking here. Oh, here's one we do. It's called skiing. Of course, I don't know how to ski, but I know how to fake ski. So we do like this. And this is exercise for the knees. If you're stronger, go lower. Get right down there like a giant slalom. Or you can go slalom. Or you can just do a downhill. 
It's all adjustable, all fits you. Okay, let's do toys, toes behind. Put that foot back there and tap that toe. That's a good one. Okay. Um, oh yeah, another good one here. This is a good Tri-Cities exercise. It's called Trees in the Breeze. Anybody ever seen the wind blow? Then you know this exercise. Now you can do this kind of like so, or you can really get into it. You can pick up that foot back there, go over on one foot, Really get some wind going. That's a good one for you. Now, this is the best workout I've had since uh, middle of March. Feels good. I'm glad I'm doing it. Okay, let's do a few more windmills. Now normally after we do our chair exercises, we take our balls, which we don't have today, and which you may not have at home, but you could pretend like you have a ball, and you can take a chair, and the idea is you hold the ball above your head, get up on your tiptoes, and then you tiptoe a box around your chair. So you're sideways in front, backwards, sideways behind. Why do we do that? Because when people go around in circles, they get dizzy. And when people get dizzy, they fall down. And when they fall down, they get hurt. So we don't do that. We do boxes. And then after a couple on your toes, you do one on your heels. Another one we do with the balls, which we don't have today, but we do have a chair, is you hold your ball in your hand and we do a chair twist. So the ball goes one way, your feet go the opposite way. Another one we do, and I don't know ball, but I'll show you how it works, basically. Don't do this if you have lower back problems, because this is a real stretch for the lower back and the groin. We put the ball on the floor, and we basically roll dough with the ball. So that's a dynamic stretch of the hip joint and the lower back. It sure makes me feel better after I do it. Might work for you too. After we, after we do the aerobics, normally we do strength training with bands or ankle weights. We're not gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna show you that after you're warmed up, after you've done your exercise, it's a good idea to do some stretching. So I'm gonna show you some stretches that we do. One is you put your arm across like this, pull it in with the other arm. You do it on both sides. Each, if, if you have a clock you can look out, it's handy because you try to do each stretch for about 20 seconds. After 20 seconds you switch and do the other side. I'm not going to do the full 20 seconds, but then the next one is you put your elbow up behind your head and you pull or push back on it. This stretches out that shoulder joint. And of course you do that on the other side too. And then you take and put your hands together, fingertips together, spread the fingers apart, push those palms in gently toward each other. Uh, 
It feels really good stretching out your palms. And again, if you have bad arthritis, you're not gonna be able to do it like this, but that's okay, do what you can. Same thing, backs of the hands, flex the wrists the other way. And then you reach around behind, grab one wrist with the other hand, and pull down and back a bit. Oh yeah. After we've done those shoulder stretches, then you wanna take your shoulders and roll them up and down, in and out, back and forth, together and separate. It feels really, really good. Okay. Next stretch, you slide your hand down the side of your leg, lift the other hand straight up. Same thing other side, naturally. And then we're gonna start with some lower body stretches. So you go behind the chair or something else solid that you can hang on to. You put one foot back, you hold that heel down, keep the knee straight, and then lean into it a bit, holding the heel down you feel a real stretch in your calf muscle. This is a good way to prevent bone spurs in your heels. At least that's what the podiatrist claimed. And of course we do the other same thing on the other side. And then we get on the chair now what I'm going to do is just sit one cheek on one corner of the chair, like this. We put one foot out, lean forward, and reach toward that toe. Now there are people in my class that can reach their toe and put their fingers around the end. I salute them. I can't. I flew a desk for too many years. Okay, after that stretch, then you just slide back, still just one leg on the chair, put the other foot back, and then reach up like so. So your stretch is going all the way from your toe, clear up to your fingertips. Yeah! Stretch that out. Then we go to the other side of the chair, do the same exact thing, like so. And like so. Okay, the next thing you do is you stand up, give yourself a big hug, because you love yourself a lot, and you turn around and look behind you. See if anybody's watching. And then you turn around and look the other way. And I'm not going as far around as I usually do because I'm having a little trouble with my neck right now. Okay, and then after that, put your chin down to your chest. Do a big neck roll. This is your AARP self-driving skill because if you can't see the car coming up beside you, you're not a safe driver. And again, I've been having a little trouble with my neck lately, but that exercise is a good way to keep from having trouble with your neck. Okay, I think that's about it for our workout. We're gonna finish off with a big breath in. And let that breath out. Thank you all for watching.